DNTV was one of the most successful YouTube channels in recent South African history, with a couple exchanging phones content instantly being a major hit in the South African YouTube community. But overnight, the channel just disappeared, and the main two creators on the channel, Joseph Derry and Uncle Spella, were never seen working together again. A channel which started in 2020, like many others, had built over 200,000 subscribers in the time of its disappearance in November 2022. This is the story of how two young men from Limpopo changed South African YouTube within a matter of months. As stated in the beginning, Uncle Spella and Joseph Diary are two young men from Limpopo that came to Johannesburg for university after finishing their matrix like many others around South Africa and nothing was special about them. But Uncle Spiller, who was known just as Tuto at the time, began his love for YouTube and started a channel where he used to do skits but never really got real attention except from the person that was about to change his life forever. In July 2020, Uncle Spella caught the attention of Joseph that we all know today as Joseph Diary. Joseph and Uncle Spella had a mutual friend called Sabang, the girl who later also became a part of DNT TV. And she arranged for Joseph and Uncle Spella to be in contact. And this was the moment Joseph Diary told Uncle Spella about the loyalty test where couples go through each other's phones, testing each other's loyalty. And this was the idea that would change their lives forever. It is important to understand what inspired Joseph to come up with this idea. And it all started when his uncle he loved so much died from HIV from having too many partners. And this sparked Joseph to one day make a change and save other people's lives from cheating partners as it could be deadly. DNT TV created their channel in October 2020 and only dropped two loyalty test videos in November as it was exams for the two young men who were writing as students and went back home to Limpopo for the December holidays being separated for the time being and the channel only having a total of 300 subscribers and 300 views for each video. An average person would think that this is a good start to a YouTube channel but not Uncle Spella and Joseph Diary who wanted a whole lot more. So after coming back from their holiday in Limpopo, Spela, Joseph, Tepang, the female presenter on DNTV from earlier, and a few members went on a mission of a lifetime. Going to different University of Johannesburg campuses and colleges around Johannesburg asking people to subscribe to their channel and after 24 long hours of hard work, their work indeed paid off as they went from having 300 subscribers to 1000 subscribers in 24 hours. The next step for them was consistency in dropping content and by March or April of 2021, the channel hit 4000 hours and finally got monetized, meaning they were now getting money from creating videos on YouTube. And in September 2021, Spiller revealing in an interview they received between 15,000 to 20,000 and everyone at DNTV felt like they were on top of the world. But nothing lasts forever. Now, it's important to highlight that Spella and Joseph were never friends but business associates or business acquaintances on the DNTV channel. So somewhere around 2021, Joseph Diary had to drop out of university due to a lack of fun and suddenly he had a lot of time on his hands to focus only on the channel which he did. On the other hand, Bella was drowning in schoolwork and couldn't commit as much time to the channel. Now that there was money involved, talks and disagreements about how much money each member should get were taking place between Spiller and Joseph, with Joseph believing he should get a bigger cut as his videos on the channel were getting more and more views and he contributed more to the channel since he had time. Spiller must have felt betrayed by this but they came to an agreement to get paid with individual videos they each contribute to the channel rather than share the revenues 50-50. This was also around the time when they also created their own personal YouTube channels apart from the DNTV and dropping videos on their respective individual channels. It doesn't help that at this time they were well known or some would argue they were famous and this new found fame had boosted their egos making them think that no one can touch them. So by 2022 DNTV was doing loyalty tests 
on people of all ages and on one particular day uncle speller did a loyalty test on an old couple and instead of being funny as the users were used to him he was very disrespectful to this old man which had led to him never interviewing old people and leaving it to joseph on the dntv channel Uncle Speller woke up one morning to his girlfriend calling him at 5 a.m. in the morning. And what she said in that call will probably haunt him for the rest of his life, as one of the worst possible nightmares has become a reality, with her saying that the YouTube channel has disappeared. Still sleepy but in disbelief, 10 minutes later, his partner Joseph texted him with the same text of the channel being hacked. Uncle Spiller quickly got up and searched DNTV and what he saw next shocked him as one of his nightmares came true. The channel was gone and what had came up in place of DNTV was XRP Repo. This XRP Repo channel has hacked them and this is believable how this could happen to such a big YouTube channel. This could have been an inside job where they got hacked by someone close to them they might have upset or there is a hacker out there that's really hacking big youtube channels and no one is safe and tragedy struck again but this time through uncle speller as his individual channel was deleted by youtube because of a community strike that he tried fixing by deleting the video and editing out the disturbing parts that youtube had told him about and when he tried to upload the clean version again YouTube straight up deleted his channel. It's without a doubt that DNTV contributed a lot to the South African YouTube cult and was one of the best channels South Africa has ever seen. With all the controversies DNTV may have faced and some of those controversies coming from my channel exposing they fake pranks and many more. Joseph Diary and Uncle Speller continue to inspire many people and a lot of upcoming YouTubers that you don't need fancy English to make a successful channel and that you need hard work and determination. And will we ever see Joseph and Uncle Speller working on DNTV together again? Only God knows. And even if they don't, what they did in their time together will be in YouTube history books forever for future generations of YouTubers to be inspired.